so let's talk about heat. So heat is any form of is a form of energy that's associated with the motion of particles. Okay, so this is going to be about kinetic energy, um, and it's always transferred from areas of higher temperature to lower temperature. So heat always moves from where it's hotter to where it's colder. The units of heat, we've got two of them that we're going to use quite a bit. The calorie. The calorie is defined as the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. So if I had two grams of water, it would take two calories. Or if I wanted to raise two grams of water, three degrees Celsius, that would take six calories. Okay. The other unit that we'll use is joules. Okay, and the conversion between the two of them is that there's 4.184 joule, joules in one calorie. Okay, we use them pretty interchangeably. It doesn't really matter which we use. And, of course, we'll also use kilocalories and kilojoules. Okay, we'll probably end up using joules and kilojoules more often than calories. But, you know, either one doesn't matter. So, specific heat capacity. This is basically how fast things heat up. This is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of any substance, not just water, one degree Celsius. So for instance, let's say I've got a substance here which has a large heat capacity, okay, and I've got a substance here that has a small specific heat capacity. If I add the same amount of heat to both of them, the one that requires less heat to heat up is going to heat up more. The one that requires more heat to heat up will heat up less. Okay? Things like water okay, have very, very high specific heat capacities. They heat up and cool down very slowly. Okay? Metals, on the other hand, have very low specific heat capacities. Metals will heat up and slow down very, very quickly. So, for instance, in the summertime, when you go to the beach, do you go into the water or do you sit on the hood of your car? Obviously, you go into the water because its temperature is, is moderated. It doesn't get very hot or very cold very quickly. Whereas if you leave your car out in the middle of the sun, it's going to get very hot very quickly. Okay, so like here, gold, when I heat it up, is going to heat up much, much faster than aluminum because it has a lower specific heat capacity. Okay? Same as if you want to make like spaghetti or something. Okay? If you compare a metal spoon and a wooden spoon, if you were to leave them in the pot of hot water, the metal spoon would, because it has a low specific heat capacity, would heat up very, very quickly. Whereas wood has a very high specific heat capacity, so it would heat up much, much more slowly. So the units of specific heat capacity are joules per gram degree Celsius or calories per gram degree Celsius. And I think if we look at an equation, we'll see why that is. Okay, this is a, an equation that we're going to use quite a bit. Q is heat. Okay, sometimes we use a capital Q but mostly chemists use a small Q and physicists use a capital Q. It doesn't really matter. M is mass. Okay. So remember, heat is going to be in joules or calories. Mass is going to be in grams. C is the symbol for specific heat capacity. So that's going to be in joules per gram degree Celsius or calories per gram degree Celsius and the change in temperature will be in degrees Celsius. And remember, whenever you find a change in temperature, or the change in anything, it's always the final minus the initial. So sometimes it'll be positive and sometimes it'll be negative. Okay, but if you look at your units, you'll see that degrees Celsius cancels out, grams cancels out, and you're left with, you know, calories or joules. So let's try a problem with What's the specific heat? or specific heat capacity of silicon if it takes 192 joules to raise the temperature of 45 grams of silicon by 6 degrees. So the way the equation is really usually written is Q is MC delta T. But in this case, let's go ahead and solve for C. So that's going to be Q over M delta T. OK, 
Okay, so the Q is given to us, 192 joules. The mass is 45 grams. And the change in temperature is 6 degrees Celsius. So if you do that out, you get a specific heat capacity of 0 0.71 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay? Sometimes students will confuse C and Q. Remember, Q is heat, and it's in joules or calorie. And C is specific heat, or specific heat capacity, and it's joules per gram degree Celsius or calories per gram degree Celsius. And that's it. It's a pretty simple topic.